this is Will of Will H Tech Review back with another video. And I want to talk about how I transfer files, particularly today uh, videos when I'm using my Android devices from Android to Android or my from my Apple iPad Pro 12.9 to my iPhone or back from my iPhone to my iPad. And this is the Tab S6 and this is my Note 9 back and forth. But uh, you can transfer pictures, videos, any documents or things that you need. But I'm going to talk about how I transfer when I'm using certain things. So particularly talking about videos that I record with either of my devices. So uh, with the Android, I can use an app called Samsung Flow right here. And this allows you to transfer different things, uh, videos and things of that nature back and forth. Uh, but I found that... Uh, the Flow app is kind of slow when I'm trying to transfer videos. And of course, with the Apple devices, you have AirDrop, and it's fast and it's very consistent. So what I what I started doing with my Android devices, I transfer call with uh, what they call Wi-Fi Direct. And with Wi-Fi Direct, it uh, gives you a faster uh, transfer speed than... Uh, than you would with the Samsung Flow app. So as you can see, I'm connected right here with my uh, Note 9, and we're gonna be transferring a video, one of my videos that I've already made, and I'm gonna be using them both on the iPhone and the Note 9. And the details of this, this video is eight minutes and 53 seconds, and it's uh, five, 559.17 megabytes. So I'm gonna, just demonstrate just how these two, you know, the speed on them, how fast they can transfer that video. So I'm gonna bring it up over here on my iPhone as well. This is the same video. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and transfer this video. Uh, over here, I'm gonna be using Wi-Fi Direct and over here, AirDrop. So I'm gonna go in, get AirDrop set up. As you can see, my Willis iPad there. And over here, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Bring this up where I can get to Wi-Fi Direct. There it is there, so I'm gonna select that. When you bring this up, it tells you that they both need to have Wi-Fi Select on. So as soon as I hit Share here, and the iPad over here, they're gonna start going. So here we go. So they both are sending the file. So I'll go over here to uh, Wi-Fi Direct, and As you can see, it's sending the file there, and the iPad is virtually almost done, as you can see. I mean, the iPhone sending it to the iPad is done. You'll see the video pop up over there. That's just how fast that goes. And this one's not very not very slow, as you can see. It's sending it, it's sending the file pretty fast. And over here, if I go to the go to the tablet here and I go to Wi-Fi Direct, you can see the progress as well over there. So Definitely not as fast as the uh, iOS right here, but it's much faster than using Samsung Flow, in my opinion. And and when the what what happens, the difference here when the iPad receives the file, it automatically go ahead and open it up. But this one, you you have to go in and open up the file yourself. So as you can see, it's quite a bit longer than the iPad, but a pretty good rate of speed. So. It should be done here anytime, but this is what I use to transfer videos. So if you're going to do multiple videos, you can see it's going to take a little while longer on your Wi-Fi Direct right here, and definitely longer if you use the Samsung Flow. Now, if anybody knows, you know, how I can speed this up, leave a comment uh, telling me how I can do it uh, to get this to go a little bit faster. But this is what I've been using to transfer videos in case I need to I'll edit on my two devices here, my two tablets. So here's the file here, and now I can go in and I can play play that video that I just transferred. So, all right guys, that's just a look at the way that I transfer my videos or files or whatever between my two devices, uh, two, two operating systems when I need to transfer files. So catch you guys in the next video. Will H. I'm out.